What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to our Talk and Play podcast, where we talk about serious and funny subjects while we play video games. Yes, and today we will be talking about a topic that we talk about a lot, actually, now that I think about it. YouTube, and how stupid it is to uh, quit your job and just try and get YouTube famous. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's blow this knowledge load. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, so the reason why we wanted to talk about this is, you know, being in the YouTube community... And yeah, now that we're pretty big stars on YouTube, we figure we should address it. I mean, bigger than the people that are staying, saying that they're quitting their jobs. And it, you guys would be absolutely flabbergasted by how often we see this. Facebook, Reddit, you know, YouTube videos. Jump. These guys with... 5 to 50 subscribers saying, I decided to quit my job to do full-time, or to do YouTube full-time. What in the, are you thinking? Sorry, I got mad there. I couldn't even jump. <laughs> That's why. I've never seen you get hit like that before. <gasps> oh. Yeah, so we're talking like, in one of the most volatile places, businesses, jobs you could have. And you're gonna quit your job to either start brand new, or you maybe just started and time to quit my job. Now, when we're looking at YouTube, okay, first of all, you're not making a ton of money until you probably have upwards of like a million subscribers. I, I'm, well, I mean, I guess maybe you couldn't do, you, you, if you're, so the biggest thing is YouTube ad, ad revenue. So you're getting, you're getting paid money based on people watching your videos, but watching the ads, um, watching the ads that get played before the video. Yeah. If you watch, if, you know, if you get people that watch the ad, then you get a slice of that pie that, uh, the advertisers are paying to YouTube. They pass on, I think 68% of that money yeah. onto the person whose video it gets shown on. So you look at um, advertisers, advertisers. As advertisers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for people that aren't creators, um, and you know, in kind of the spirit of keeping this, a, 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 as financial advisory as possible, and not completely anecdotal. Um, so, for example, we we did look up. Uh, how much an average YouTuber makes, um, and around how many subscribers and whatnot. So what we found, what we found was a base minimum of twenty thousand subscribers or twenty thousand views a day. Okay. So for all the YouTubers that we normally see, yeah, they have very low subscribers, maybe a hundred, two hundred views a video, and they've decided that they're going to quit their job to focus on YouTube full time. So now here's the problem: twenty thousand views a day. On average, advertisers bid out their ads at maybe 18... I'm so burpy. Wow, good. 18, 18 cents an ad. So you're depending on, first of all, people not having ad block because you do not... And I have ad block. I have? Hell, I'm not watching an ad. Are you kidding me? So you now don't get paid for that view. And so 68% of that 18 cents is now no longer yours. Um, so on average of 20,000 views, uh, I think it was, how much was that? Like $40 uh, for, so for a day? Max. So it, I think it was like 28 to 47 yeah. dollars you can make on 20,000 views a day. Yeah. So now, like Dustin said, you're relying on, because you, you can, you can look up the stats, like the statistics, they'll usually say, usually one in a thousand people will watch an ad on a video. So you're getting paid for usually one in a thousand. Unless you, like, sometimes you do better, sometimes you do worse. But now we're looking, okay, what happens when you get demonetized for saying the F word? Or you get demonetized because YouTube's like, I, I hate creators, so... Or somebody, somebody who, because anybody can place a copyright strike on a video. Some people do that out of being vindictive. Maybe they didn't like the content you were putting out, and all of a sudden you're copyrighted. I can't even tell you how many times we we've been copyrighted. And we have to go back and re-edit the video. Um, you know, it, it's 
it's stuff like that that it, it leaves it totally up in the air. And this is for people that already have a base ground, like 20,000 views a day, you're probably already looking to have 50,000 subscribers. So if you're somebody who's got 50 subscribers and you're thinking, you know what, maybe the best option in my life right now is to quit my job, to focus on making YouTube videos for free, I don't know if that's your best option. Yeah. So the way we figured it, you'd probably need around a million subscribers to make a decent monthly wage. Yeah. Now, of course, we're not taking into effect a lot of these guys start selling their own merchandise. So they're make that is all just like 100% profit, basically. Obviously, they still got to pay the people who are making the stuff. But so, yeah, you, you can get stuff from your own merch. You can get uh, sponsors. You know, a lot of, you see the Dollar Shave Club, people talk about the Dollar Shave Club all the time. They talk about like that open VPN, I think, or whatever VPN, you see that all the time. Yeah. So it's like they'll get, they'll pay these guys to put those call outs in their videos. But then again, that's still, they're usually only making these deals with bigger channels, not new channels starting out. And that, that's the, that's the biggest thing too is, you know, I'm a very business focused person and for our channel specifically, I have already targeted um, brands who and, and a business plan for us if we ever do take off. Um, and I, I do think we have the content to take off. So I think preemptively, I, I thought it was a good decision to start looking into some of this stuff just in case it happens. You want to have a plan in place. And that would be the question I would have for these people that say, oh, I'm just going to quit my job. What is your plan? You know, like what? Where are you going from this? Have you have you looked into it? Have you looked into how much these certain brands pay? Have you looked into your own merchandise? How would you outsource that? Where would you get your clothing made from? Um, like all of this stuff. You know, there's also upkeep of your your maintenance on your recording equipment. Where are you going to get the money for that? Um, there, there's so many factors that I think that these people don't keep in mind. Oh yeah, and I mean, we've we like we've talked about some of this stuff before, and we've said a bunch of times how you know, tons of new channels that start up quit. You know, everybody starts up and thinks they can make it, and then they realize that it is actually quite difficult and requires a lot of work to, you know, get bigger to be successful. And it, even if you put in the work, that doesn't you still aren't even guaranteed to get to, to be successful. And so yeah, you get these guys who are like yeah, I I. I Maybe they don't even know anything about YouTube really. Like they never, they don't even have a channel yet. They're like, yeah, you know, I've decided I'm just gonna quit my job and start doing YouTube. That's what everybody's doing. It's just, it's just that easy. It's like, whoa, buddy, you are, uh, don't get ahead of yourself there, champ, you're buckaroo. A, yeah, you're a little delusional at that point. <laughs> but like, going back to the volatile things, you know, everybody's heard of the YouTube adpocalypse where creators were just getting dumped on by getting demonetized for just like randomly whatever they're just getting demonetized left right and center now all of a sudden even if you you know you quit your job you were doing decent maybe you got a couple hundred thousand subscribers you were doing okay now all of a sudden your source of income has just been slashed by like 70 percent so what do you do then you know you have no other way to make money that was your job and it's just it's the volatility of YouTube that is a problem unless you get big enough where you're now selling your own merchandise and also getting brand deals because that stuff is guaranteed revenue but YouTube AdSense is not a guaranteed thing it's very is it's very like it fluctuates a lot you know you it depends on your click through rate it depends on how many people actually watch the ad like it has a lot of dependencies and oh, oh, would you look at that? Um, and because of that, it, unless you're a really big YouTuber, even starting up YouTube still is not a, a great business plan as a full time income thing. No, um, I, I honestly don't have a plan to ever quit my job for this unless we, <laughs> unless we had like 10 million subscribers and it was like, okay, I don't have enough time to do both anymore. Yeah, because um, like you're easily replacing the income you'd make from a job at that point by being big, right? But even with millions of subscribers, it would still it would still make me super nervous. Um, and 
Josh was saying, you mentioned like Pro Jared and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure by now everybody's heard like in the past couple of days you can't wipe your ass without seeing, you know, Pro Jared and this James uh, James Charles James Charles guy. All this controversy around them. Okay, you had, you, you know, you did make it big. <clears throat> you were doing really good, and then all of a sudden, some cut, some scandal happens. Oh, great. You know, I, I mean, I guess in Pro Jared's case, he was sending his wee wee to <laughs> underage girls. Well, yeah, I mean, that was a problem. I mean, <laughs> obviously, not every instance is going to be like that, but you know, okay. So that comes out, all of a sudden, oh, you lose, you know, you have a million subscribers, all of a sudden you lose like 140,000 of those subscribers. So that's a good chunk of your money that you were making before, out the drain. So it's not, it's, it's like never really a guaranteed income. And then you look at this James Charles thing, which I think is so stupid that just, oh, these people, I just want to talk about it just for a second because it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. This whole drama that's sweeping YouTube is because this one guy that does makeup, he uh, promoted somebody else's vitamin pills as opposed to his friend. And my god, you'd swear that it was like some huge event just happened. Like Armageddon. It's everywhere. It's There's scandal. There, It's this whole thing on YouTube. They're making videos. But every... They're making videos back and forth, calling each other out and crying. It's like, oh my god. This is the most mundane and ridiculous thing to have some scandal about. Like, how is this a scandal? Was, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And then there's the other part of where people are coming out and saying this guy sexually abused me or forced himself on me. And... and... I tend to not believe the words of people on Twitter or any other social media because anybody can say anything. Like, where's the proof? Um, we live in a world where, you know, innocent until proven guilty. And I'm not defending James Charles. I watched one of his videos and he's a complete idiot. Um, oh, we're involved in the. Oh boy, drama now we're now. part of Yeah, now we're part of the scandal. Thank God nobody watches these. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, honestly. Um, <clears throat> What was I saying? I think I just kind of wanted to say how much say I hate him. <laughs> um, but I, th I think honestly the biggest thing at this point is that going back to YouTube being a reliable income is when you're in the eye of the public I'm and, the in, in, <laughs> and, and the media, people are constantly looking for you to mess up. Even the smallest thing, let's say you say a word that maybe you shouldn't use, and all of a sudden you just lost 500,000 subscribers, your your base income uh, for that month is completely gone, and now you're screwed. And there's another part of it that I don't think a lot of people think of as well, and like, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna game over. You might. Um... When you have something like what happened to Pro Jared, where it's that bad, or even something that happened to John Tron, and for people that don't know, John Tron said some very racist remarks oh. <laughs> and homophobic remarks, and uh, you know, that completely tanked him. Um, and he actually didn't put up a video for a year. But that's besides the point. The main problem is oh, good, that, you know, for somebody like me in a professional atmosphere, if I knew of this person and they came to my company and were interviewing for a job, no way in hell would I hire them. Well, yeah, because now, yeah, you're already out there. It's easy to find any kind of information they need about you, right? Because your information is all out there. You've got videos. That was your, your whole deal before was being out there, having your information and yourself as a person out there. Yeah. So... Yeah, if you mess up, well, now you've messed up everywhere because anybody can find that and see it. Yeah, and that's the scary part is when you're putting your your livelihood in YouTube, it's not just YouTube that you're gambling with here. It's it's your life. Oh my god, it, it is your life because you are all of a sudden in the public eye, and it's something that I think about all the time. I'm always sitting there like. Is there anything that could come back? To yeah, I, exactly. Because that's that is the bit that is the biggest thing is okay. I need to worry about anything I've ever said now because 
Anybody can go and dig that up now. Yeah. And, and yeah, it is something that I think about a lot. Um, Cause like, you know, you always see it, it's like, oh, we found this Twitter post from eight years ago. Oh, I'm, you know, you're a Nazi now, I guess. I, like, yeah. And it didn't matter if it was a joke or... Oh, they'll take it out of context to make you look bad, yeah. too. So, I don't know. I feel like we kind of got off track here, but, uh, yeah, I just don't... Oh, my God, this is a hard level. I just don't think it's a reliable thing to say, you know what, YouTube is the thing for me, and even when I have no information, you know, what it's like to be a professional YouTuber, even though I don't have a business plan and I haven't looked into how much money I can actually make, that people are just thinking that this is this is a reliable option and I don't understand it. Yeah, it's, I don't know, people, just because YouTube is so big, you know, everybody thinks now, oh yeah, I can do that, yeah. right? And it's just, that's, that's what it is. Like, oh yeah, this guy does YouTube, but he, you know, it's, it's usually like, okay, the numbers, you know, these numbers come out. Oh yeah, these guys make, oh cool. These guys make, oh, this person made $5 million last year. Like, oh, just doing YouTube videos? I can do that. Let's, yeah, I'll just make 12, I'll make $5 million in no time. I find that funny that people think, I'm just not spending enough time on my YouTube and that's why it's not turning out. If you have a stupid personality or, you know... Or a stupid face. Yeah, that's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, like, a lot of people do, unfortunately, a lot of people just don't want to watch unattractive people. Well, that's, why do you think women just kill it on YouTube? Yeah. For, with no content. Yeah, yeah, that happens a lot. It's just because they're attractive and people just want to see attractive people. They don't even care. <gasps> oh, now you've done it. That's unfortunate. That's all it is. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it, it is tough because it's really easy to look at these people who are like, oh, well, they don't, they're not, they don't have any talent. I, I can do that. Yeah. Because they're making lots of money. It's like, well, there's a little more that goes into it than that. Like, literally, all you, you just, they're, it's because they're good looking and people just, yeah. Lots of good look like girls can just go on YouTube and try on clothes and get millions of views. Do you know how many times I've seen that where it's just like this really really attractive woman who's her video is trying on all of my bikinis that I just bought. You millions know, of you know how many of those I've watched personally? Lots for of them. thirty seconds. No, well I I, I just go <laughs> to the timestamps and look for anything interesting. <laughs> oh, nip slip at uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. three minutes and 20 oh, seconds. I did it again. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things, like, I understand that you want to be an entertainer, mm -hmm. but for the sustainability of your life, as well as your image, and just... Go. Er, we no. still go? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then... Oh, Not then. Press start and then select. Um... It's just, it's not a good option for you. And you're not, I'm sorry, but when you're making content off the start, you're not special. Unless you have some sort of degree or some sort of prior experience. In like if you're an expert in something, they tend to do yeah. pretty well because they, they're they very knowledgeable on a subject and they usually know a lot of interesting things. And usually, well, usually it's stuff that people haven't seen before, you know? So that's how they do it, but like when we, like we we compare it to, you know, back in the day, how many people used to just say, I'm going to go to Hollywood and I'm going to make it big. I'm going to be an actor, right? Yeah. And so they quit their job, they take, move, move their entire life and move out to Hollywood. And how many of them ended up being waitresses and that's it. They never got a job anywhere else. They didn't make it. And uh, kind of ruin their life, you could say. Yep. Cool. It, it's it's kind of the same thing with with YouTube because now YouTube, like, honestly, people are moving away. Well, not totally away, but a lot of people are moving away from doing traditional television, movies, oh that kind of stuff, to being online personalities. That's like the actors of today. You don't have to start that far back. You're taking forever to run. And so that's you can still get there. Lagging. Yeah, there's quite a bit of lag on this one with the barrels and once you start spinning So you look at it, it's kind of the, it's kind of the same thing, you know people want to make it big in the 
You know, back in the day, they wanted to make it big in film and TV. They wanted to model. They wanted to do whatever. And now it's like, oh, I want to, you know, make it big. I want to be an online personality. I want to do YouTube. I want to do whatever. It, it, it's, it's the same thing. And it, it's just as harsh a world now, too. Except I would say there's even more competition on YouTube just because it's so much more accessible to everybody. It's not just for, you know people who think they're good actors or actresses and it's not just for people who are attractive because that's all you want to see in movies I mean it does help but it's just way more attract it's way more an of an attractive option just because it's so accessible to everybody so it's yeah it's basically don't quit your job to, <laughs> to do YouTube it's, don't quit your day job yeah don't quit, don't quit your day like, I'm sure you heard that before and it is just as true now as it ever was like once you've made it, you've got, you know, okay, yeah, you've got several million subscribers, okay, you know, at that point, you'll probably end up being alright, providing you don't, like, have any really bad scandals, which, I mean, even pro Jared, he still ended up, oh, I mean, he che also cheated on his wife, I don't think he'll do that. Oh, no. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, you look, you look at that, he did some of the worst stuff you can do, like, underage girls getting naked pictures, showing himself naked, all this stuff, and he actually still only lost about 10% of his subscribers, maybe? God, I hate this level. Hold well, on. this level hates you, and you're still going. He This is like the beginning of the level. I know. And he only lost, you know, like I said, 10% of his sub subscribers, so he's still probably doing all right. Uh. I mean... If he's got any brand stuff going on, that might take a big hit. Um, but. He, he was at like 1.1 1. 1 or something like that. He's at 700,000 now. Said what? Yeah. Last time I checked, he was at like 900,000. No, he's lost a ton. He's losing like 100,000 subscribers a day. Yeah, he's, do he's losing a lot. He is losing a lot. It's all them kids that receive the dick pics. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> that's a lot of dick that's pics. That's a lot of dick pics. Can I get up here now? Yeah. You just have to be quick about it. You have to you have to jump on that first barrel like as high as high as you possibly can and get going. Right. It's hard! <laughs> oh. Hey! Oh. Okay, well why don't we pause it? Why don't you pause it there? And we'll pick up from here next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.